வெல்கம் பேக் டு ஸ்ட்ரீமர்ஸ் ஸோ ஐ எம் ஹியர் வித் எட் அன் ஆர் ஸ்டோரி அண்ட் தி டைட்டில் ஆஃப் த ஸ்டோரி இஸ் த டீ வெண்டர் ஸோ ஒன்ஸ் அப்பான் அ டைம் தேர் லிவ்ட் அ டீ வெண்டர் ஹூஸ் நேம் வாஸ் மோகன் இன் அ ஸ்மால் டவுன் ஹி யூஸ் டு புட் ஹிஸ் டீ ஸ்டால் அவுட்சைட் அ ரயில்வே ஸ்டேஷன் அ தேர் வில் மெனி பீப்பிள் பாசிங் த்ரூ தட் ரயில்வே ஸ்டேஷன் ஆன் அ டெய்லி பேசிஸ் அண்ட் தே வுட் யூஸ்வலி ஸ்டாப் by mohan's tea stall to enjoy his warm tea so one day one of his customers one of the passers by asked mohan mohan what do you mix in your tea it's just so tasty mohan says that i just mix a lot of love in my tea and i pour it into your cup and you take the sip and enjoy it. the customer was really very satisfied with that particular answer and he went off with a smiling face on a regular basis there would be many customers enjoying his tea one day mohan thought of going on a tour to a nearby city so he was just standing on a ticket counter buying a ticket for himself to travel to that particular city so one of his regular customers said asked him Mohan where are you going are you going somewhere Mohan said Yes I am going to this nearby city that we have and I just had to bring some stuff for my a tea stall and I just wanted to take an off from my daily work So he boards his train goes to the city It was a short trip He went he bought these things he had to bring from the city for his tea stall he buys it and while coming back he stops by a mall a big pretty mall and when he goes inside there was a big tea shop he thought i should go and taste the tea that they have out here he goes he sits on a table and he says i want a tea cup please and the waiter out there serves him a cup of tea now mohan used to serve this big cup of tea in rupees 5 but now when he's here in the mall he caught this little cup of tea in okay he gets this little cup of tea in 25 rupees Now that was shocking for him because the taste of this small little 25 rupee cup of tea was not good. He actually spit it out like poo and he does that. And the tea goes off flying from his mouth too. You know what happened next, right? So he goes to the billing counter, he stands there and asks, he, cons- he confirms for the rate, the price of the tea. and the person st- sitting on the bill counter said sir it's 25 rupees per cup mohan was shocked he says 25 rupees are you serious everyone sitting inside that shop was actually staring at him now he was a little shamed of what he did so he just gives the 25 rupee note to him to the person in the billing counter and moves off he boards a train back comes back to the village now throughout this journey he was thinking i sell a good tea a tasty tea in 5 rupees and that too it's such a big cup that i serve to my customers am i a fool or something that i do that out here in the city people are paying 25 rupees for this little cup that is not even tasty i must go and change my rates if i had actually been asking my customers for 25 rupees per cup in that small cup i would have become rich i might have i would have a shop of my own a big shop of my own just like they have in the mall and i would have getting some good amount of money then 
The next day he opens his tea stall and changes his rupees 5 cost to rupees 25 per cup. He reduces the size of his cup and his tea. Let's see what happens next. A customer comes. He takes his tea as usual. But the customer was not satisfied. The taste of the tea was not the same because Mohan previously used fresh cow milk. He used hand grounded spices to prepare his tea, fresh tea leaves, honey and just so many other things that made his tea tastier than the rest. This customer was not satisfied. He goes off. He drinks, his, drinks the tea and goes off. Next day, there was another tea vendor who comes and stands beside Mohan's tea stall. Now everyone, the customers that Mohan had were actually shifting to the other person's tea stall to have the tea. The other person was selling his tea for rupees 5 per cup. And it was tastier than what Mohan had now. Mohan was very sad because all his customers were going to that particular stall. So one of the customers sees that Mohan is quite unhappy. He goes and has a talk with Mohan. Mohan, why are you sad? Mohan says, all my customers have shifted. They all have the tea that mm, this person besides my stall is selling. What should I do? I have no earning now. How do I live? How do I earn? The customer says, I would only advise you with one simple thing. You offer the best tea, right? But all you need to do is before you mixed love in your tea, but now you are mixing greed in it. Remove the greed and add some love again and all your customers will be back. Mohan ponders about whatever his old customer said. And next day when he returns, he changes the rupees 25 per cup board to rupees 5 per cup. And one customer comes, he tastes Mohan tea and he was quite happy because he had left his greed. He had stopped adulterating his milk and his customers were back and Mohan lived a happy life again. The moral of the story is you should never be greedy. Greed can bring you down. And the next thing that we need to learn from the story is adulteration in items is not good. With this, I conclude. Thank you.